So first I added water to the dipper and then I mixed the laundry detergent into it and used the toothbrush to mix it all in. 
Guys, don't mind the dipper that it's dirty because we don't use it on a daily basis. This is like an extra dipper that we have because my grandmother already bought a new one and of course, as I've said, we just don't easily throw things away when we can repurpose it. So this is obviously used to clean stuff, so yeah. Then, using my toothbrush, I get some of that soap solution and then start brushing the shoes. I start off with the soles and just try to brush it out as much as possible. Put some force into it when brushing so you could really remove the extra dirt that, that's in there. I also didn't remove the actual noise because it sounds like an ASMR, so yeah. I just fast forward this video and as you can see I'm just brushing really hard on it. Put some elbow grease. And you'll get white soles as if it was brand new. Then using the same soap solution. Then I start brushing the canvas layer of the shoes, which I was very careful of because you know it's canvas, you could easily remove the color if you scrub too hard. So my advice is if you're you have like band shoes and you're using like um those with prints. I suggest to like lower down the amount of strength that you put in when you're brushing so just brush softly when you're brushing through the canvas unlike when you're brushing the soles. Then I just poured in some water so I could like remove some of the soap and continue brushing seeing that um, it still has dirty parts and then don't forget to clean the tongue of your shoe because it also accumulates dirt and then here's the comparison of the clean one I mean the one that I'm washing and the one that's still dirty you can see that there's really a big difference Then, what I did here was I just brushed the shoelaces. I actually dipped it first in the soap solution, then brushed it. If there's still dirt on the shoelace, use a bigger brush and then oh, brush hi it Hi guys, out. I'm actually cleaning the other pair of shoes now. Cleaning the delights. Do you want to see how dirty the water is? It's this dirty, look. So... That's like the whole main reason that you should clean your shoes like as much as possible every week or every month if you're if you have like white shoes and not clean it after 11 months that you have purchased it. So this is how the one that I'm cleaning right now is kind of clean I guess compared to this one which is still pretty dirty. So I just soaked it in water and some soap. I will just do the same thing that I did to the vans which was I just um, brushed all over the places where it was really dirty. I even cleaned the sole and then I rinsed it off with water. Then I'm gonna let it dry and probably put some newspaper and tissue around it so it could absorb the water. So I'll see you later. Bye! This is how the vans look like right now. Um, I think the soles are pretty white and it's still dry, it's still pretty wet. So. 
Hey guys, it's like 9.30 in the evening and I finished up cleaning like around 6.30 I think. So these have been drying for almost 3 hours already. And obviously they're not dry at all. They're still pretty wet. And then I put some newspapers. I um, rolled some newspapers in as well as some tissue on the outside. So as you can see, the tissue is pretty wet and still, still isn't dry. I mean... It's kind of dry now and you could really see the change in the color of the sole like look it's pretty white to me anyways i'm gonna have this air dry for like a day so like for 24 hours so we'll probably check on this tomorrow and then i'll let you see the final look what's up everyone so it's been finally a whole day since i started cleaning my shoes yesterday i started around 3 in the afternoon and it's currently 5 in the afternoon so i have let the shoes dry for almost a good 15 hours or so and still not dry <laughs> now actually it's just a little damp so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like now and if there's like background noises of someone talking that's actually the television because it's a Sunday and my grandmother's watching the online mass so can't do anything about that I'll show first the vans since this is the first one that I washed so this is how it turned out and as you can see it's really clean yeah. it's as if i have never worn them but there are parts that i wasn't able to properly clean like this part as you can see there's like some gray stuff there and the shoelaces are really clean which i really like that so i guess i did a pretty good job um the vans is kind of dry it's no longer damp but i'll still let this air dry until tomorrow i think and then i have the sketchers one and this one is still pretty damp so as you can see the sketchers i haven't washed this since i actually bought it so it's been 11 months since i bought this pair of shoes so this is how it looks like now when i haven't washed this this is was like this color yeah this color but this one now is kind of white so there are places in the shoes where i wasn't really able to get the dirt out since it was already um getting dark and i was really tired like look at my hands i actually ended up with my fingers peeling so because i'm not really used to like washing things so yeah as you can see there's still some parts that are dirty like this one and this one i wasn't really able to get these marks out not sure why but all in all they look pretty good to me the soles are nice some of these like i don't know what you call this i know this is dry fit or tri fit i think um yeah the shoes are really nice so if you guys want to do something productive this quarantine go ahead and start cleaning your shoes so if you try out this diy and it works out for you please don't forget to click that subscribe button and the bell button so you'll be notified every time i upload a new video so i'll see you in my next videos bye